majority of uh, neurologists will give um, women with epilepsy that are using anti-seizure medications high dose folic acid during pregnancy. There is really no um, hard, uh, there are no guidelines um, that give specific instructions on uh, the right dose to use. But most neurologists will use um, five milligrams before conception, and uh, and some use it during the first trimester, and some throughout their pregnancy. However, um, this uh, this way of doing it is uh, controversial because we don't really have evidence that uh, high dose folic acid is beneficial uh, or that this is safe. Um, so my talk will uh, concern what what evidence we do have and what evidence we do have about risks. Um, generally, um, during pregnancy, you need more uh, folate than usual because uh, the fetus are developing and since the cells are dividing, you need more more folate to to ensure that the cell can divide. So uh, that's why. All women should take a small dose of folic acid during before conception and during the first uh, trimester to prevent uh, um, uh, spina uh, bifida and other um, congenital malformations. Uh, but for women with epilepsy, they probably need more folate because uh, the anti-seizure medications can interact with the folate and, uh, and so that the level of folate is reduced and possibly also it can be uh, uh, the, uh, the uptake in the placenta can be, um, uh, well, um, in the anti-seizure medications can interfere with that process. So, so uh, that's why probably women with epilepsy need uh, folate more than others and probably also in a higher dose. We have some uh, evidence from previous uh, research um, that women with uh, epilepsy using anti-seizure medication that used uh, uh, any sort of uh, folic acid supplement during, um, uh, well, at the beginning of pregnancy, uh, their child had reduced risk of uh, having aut uh, aut autistic spectrum disorder symptoms and also uh, symptoms of impaired language development. So in our data, it seems that uh, uh, if you are able to start with fol folic acid supplements uh, early in pregnancy, that will be beneficial for the neurodevelopment of the fetus. Similarly, the NEED study showed that uh, uh, women that women that used uh, folic acid supplements uh, they, their ch children had a higher IQ score than women that did not use um, folic acid supplements. So that also speaks for the benefit for neurodevelopment of the child. However, um, when uh, uh, other studies have looked at um, uh, supplement for uh, prevention of uh, uh, major malformations in the ch in children exposed to anti seizure medications uh, prenatally, they didn't find any benefit, and also there were some indications of uh, an increased risk uh, that could be attributed to sort of uh, uh, bias by indication that those women using most anti seizure medication use the most folic acid supplement, but uh, you can't really know for sure. So that's why. Um, uh, the, the data is not, uh, uh, it's sort of conflicting concerning what outcome you're using. Also, uh, lately we have some uh, data that are under uh, re uh, review for publication showing that um, high dose folic acid supplements in women with epilepsy can, uh, are, um, is associated with increased risk of uh, childhood cancer in the child. So, that sort of that's on some evidence for a, a increased risk of, of high dosages.